Good morning, everybody. This is Cindy Thornton with Blue Spear Homes. But before we get started, let's get some coffee. <sighs> That's better. Today, we're going to talk about buying your first home. If you want to finance the purchase of your home, this video is for you. It doesn't matter if you're a first time home buyer or you haven't bought a house in a while. So let's jump right into it. Before you start searching for homes, you need to check your credit and take a deep look at your credit report. This is the first thing a lender looks at to determine if you can afford a home. It would be unfortunate to start looking at homes out of your price range. This leads us to our next point. There are a lot of big corporate lenders as well as small ones, but they're not all created equal. This is where talking to a real estate agent comes in handy. Real estate agents work with lenders day in and day out, and they can make great recommendations on who you should partner with. Once you find one and get pre-approved, we can move on to the next step. I'm sure you're asking, do we get to start looking yet? But don't worry, this is an important step. Before you start searching, you should make a list of what you want out of your home. Things like how many beds, how many baths, do you need a garage, how big of a yard you need, etc. etc. Making this list ahead of time helps you out a lot. It also helps your real estate agent. They can quickly narrow your search and find the home that you're looking for fast. So without further ado, your agent will partner with you during your home search. Homes into the market each day, so don't get discouraged if we can't find one right away. Your agent will keep an eye on your listings that match your criteria and send you a list of properties for you to review. Once we find a home, we're off to the races. What I say may sound obvious, but of course, go see the home. Check out the neighborhood, and scan the local area to see what's nearby. If you're satisfied with what you find, talk to your agent and see what's next. If you're ready to make an offer on a home, your agent can help you to determine a fair price. This can be the asking price or even less. Once the offer is submitted, you have to wait for the seller to respond. If it gets accepted, congratulations. Now we get to... Now we wait, wait, and wait, and wait. I'm exaggerating, of course. You'll be working with your lender during this time and submitting all the requested documents. A home inspection and an appraisal will take place during this time. With minimal issues, most homes close between 30 and 45 days. And then the magic happens. As long as everything has gone smoothly, you will eventually reach your closing date. The home gets transferred from the seller to you and the keys magically appear in your hands at the end. Go grab the moving truck and get started on your new journey. If you like this video, come and check this one out where we talk about how to increase your credit score. See you in the next one.